Today we're going to talk about linear actuators. I know it's not always easy to figure out what linear motion system is going to be the best fit for your application, but to make it easier we can break linear actuators down into three drive systems, screw, belt, and linear motor. Let's talk for a second about the mechanics behind a screw drive. We have uh, here a screw rod with a nut and so we would mount the carriage to this and if we mount a motor to the screw then when we spin the screw the nut's going to move back and forth and that's going to give us our motion. There's a couple of options in terms of what we can use for a screw. We can use a lead screw which is going to give us uh, really smooth motion but it's going to add some friction into the system which means we can only use it in low duty cycle applications. With a ball screw we have recirculating ball bearings which really lowers the friction which allows us to use it with higher acceleration and uh, higher duty cycle as well. Those recirculating ball bearings do add a little bit of audible noise and, and vibration into the system so it's something to be aware of. Parker's 400XR series of screw positioners is globally recognized as one of the best pre-engineered screw packages available. With precision square rail bearings and a variety of rolled and ground screw options, we're able to get down to plus or minus 1.3 micron repeatability. Uh, for more industrial applications, you might want to take a look at the HD positioners. And the MX80S and MX45 are miniature positioners that offer high precision in a small package. In a belt drive, we have a steel reinforced timing belt. Uh, which is in tension between two pulleys. So we would attach a motor to one of those pulleys and a carriage to the belt. So when we spin the motor, the carriage moves back and forth, which gives us our motion. Now, belt drives are available in much longer travel lengths than a screw drive, and they are also a capable of much higher speeds. There's a trade-off, though, in terms of lower repeatability, accuracy, and reduced thrust capacity. The HPLA series belt drives offers a max travel of 9 meters and a max speed of 5 meters per second, which incorporates a roller bearing system in order to achieve those high velocities. With the advent of the LCR series belt drives, we're seeing some of those capabilities and advantages of a belt in a much smaller package with, for lighter duty applications, really uh, in a cost effective option. The linear motor is unique when compared to the belt and screw because it's a direct drive system directly coupled to the load. Linear motors operate by using rare earth neodymium magnets along with a servo coil to create high forces which then creates motion. They bring together the high speed of a belt drive uh, with long travels while incorporating excellent repeatability and accuracy. So for high performance linear motion nothing quite compares with a linear motor system. The LXR linear motor tables offered by Parker integrate a raw linear motor into a highly engineered package to incorporate support, feedback, and direction. The slotless linear motor design of the 400 LXRs provides exceptional thrust with a maximum acceleration all the way up to 5 Gs, um, bringing you down to a 1.0 micron repeatability. Parker also offers a positioner based on their highly popular component level trilogy motors. Um, the MX80L brings linear motors into a miniature design utilizing cross roller bearings for high stiffness and extremely smooth linear motion. The MX80L can get down to sub-micron levels of repeatability. Well, it's all the time we've got for today. I hope I've helped you better understand some of the options out there in linear actuators. And we'll catch you soon. Yeah.